Machine Gun Kelly's being dragged for his past comments about black women after an old interview of his resurfaced. Let's get right into it. You know what they say, anything posted on the internet stays on the internet and will most likely come back to haunt you. Machine Gun Kelly is the latest celebrity to face a ton of criticism and backlash for an interview he did in 2012 at the BET Awards. And we can't say we blame the internet for getting offended because his comments were pretty terrible. In the clip that went viral, MGK made a series of very sexually inappropriate statements about black women. And then at one point, a black woman who was standing nearby apparently starts understandably walking away after hearing his offensive comments, which led to MGK getting offended by her being offended. And then things started getting even messier as he then started firing off insults at her with a series of derogatory comments. Walk away then, you dirty pig. Yeah. Ugh. Well, after that clip started gaining traction, some fans started dragging him and questioning why he would even say something like that. One Twitter user wrote, This was when he was invited to the BET Awards. Why would he get so aggressive toward black women in a majority black space? Right? While another tweeted, he should apologize to women in general. So disrespectful. I completely agree. However, the supposed interviewer surprisingly hopped into the group chat to defend MGK's remarks. She tweeted at the user who brought this decade old clip back into the current times and said, this is me in the video. Girl, give it a rest. I asked him a question and he answered. The end. I didn't ask for you to put on a cape on my behalf. I'll holler if I need you. Apparently the reporter had defended her interview once last year when it was brought up. She explained that Bossup had originally asked MGK the question about oral sex and she who was on the carpet for baller alert at the time simply continued the conversation for the outlet she was working for. She also explained that the woman who MGK made derogatory comments to was problematic the whole event. Which might have been her experience on the red carpet, but that does not defend or give permission to him to say what he said. No woman or person for that matter should be spoken to with that level of disrespect. This isn't the first time MGK's made problematic comments that had people up in arms. In 2013, while chatting with Fuse, MGK shamelessly opened up about his crush on a then 17-year-old Kendall Jenner and basically went on to say that there are no age limits when people are famous. We'll go ahead and link to that video for all the details on his thirst for Kenny, but here's a little sneak peek. I'm not waiting until she's 18, I'll go now. I'm 23, dog. Like, I'm not like a creepy age, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm 23, bro. She's 17 and she's like a celebrity. Like, there, there's no... There is no limits right there. Ugh. And then he started listing off artists who have had public relationships with underage girls, which does not make it okay. Yikes. For more on MGK, click right over here for another Clever News video. And then hit up that comment section below and let us know all your thoughts on MGK's past comments. And did your initial opinion on them change after the supposed interviewer came out to defend his answer? I really like his pop punk music that he's been putting out the last couple of years, but this is very disappointing and it definitely shifts my opinion on him. For now, I'm your host, Carly Henderson. You can follow me on social media at Carly Henderson underscore, and I'll see you next time.